Succeeding generations of scientists, armed with more powerful tools of observation, have opened up ever further lines of questioning. How many people can Earth support? How can we protect people from natural disasters? What is the relationship between human civilization and the planet as a whole? Welcome to Earth Revealed. In the same way a homeowner walks outside to check the condition of their house, we can now see how our home planet, Earth, is faring by looking at it from outer space. These images were recorded by a satellite orbiting Earth at a distance of 435 miles. Our planet appears serene from outer space, with currents in the oceans and atmospheres swirling in a complicated dance which encompasses the entire globe. From here, the borders that we're used to seeing on maps are all we'll invisible. Give you something drink in a minute. Geography is destiny. The arrangement of world oceans and land masses creates the framework for climate, weather, and habitat. Massive clouds of water vapor, seen here in white, are a telltale sign of the constant cycle of evaporation and precipitation. The deep green areas show the lush vegetation fed by abundant rainfall, while the deserts, shown in tan and brown, show us where rain is rare. Throughout this wide range of conditions, life has found a toehold almost everywhere on Earth's surface. One of the most important factors affecting life on Earth is the seasonal cycle, caused by the tilt in Earth's axis. The seasonal blooming of plants on land and in the seas plays a major role in regulating the carbon dioxide in Earth's atmosphere. Look for the greener areas in the ocean. These zones hold high amounts of microscopic phytoplankton. These tiny plants form the foundation of an oceanic food web that spans the globe. Billions of people depend upon this food web for survival. Earth's surface boasts a stunning variety of elevations. The daytime side of this view shows the relative heights of various areas of the Earth. Red and gray represent the highest terrain on the land. Green and yellow represent the lowest. Look for the mountain ranges in the oceans, such as the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which is the violent site of two plates of the Earth's crust spreading apart. Also in the ocean is the Marianas Trench, which is south of Japan. This trench is the deepest point in the ocean with a depth of 36,201 feet, almost 7 miles. On land, the Himalayas are the home of Mount Everest, the highest point on Earth at a height of 29,035 feet, almost 5.5 miles. Looking at the nighttime side, you'll see evidence of human civilization, the lights of the world. The white represents electric lighting from buildings and streets. The orange shaking shows fires, and the blue spots are from oil rigs burning off gas in huge flares. Heavily populated areas are covered with white lights, you can easily trace the Nile River by the string of lights that follows it. Major highways can be traced out from the lights of the towns along the roads. The green lights you see near Japan are fishermen shining bright lights into the seas to attract squid to the surface. Africa's orange glow might make it seem that much of the continent is on fire. However, this shading depicts a composite of one year's worth of data, so the fires are not all burning at once. While some of the fires are for cooking, most are the result of slash and burn agriculture in the jungles. Human beings really get around. This is a 24-hour time-lapse of only a portion of the commercial airline flights around the world on an average day. With over 6.6 .6 billion people currently living on Earth, there's a tremendous and growing demand for food, consumer products, transportation, and international shipping. The raw materials and fuel to make this all possible have to come from somewhere, and the waste it generates has to go somewhere.